transition to Pokemon, which wasn't quite as elegant and also showed <sighs> just that Nintendo, despite good intentions, is not really great at the live stream game at making it a smooth experience. Yeah, I mean, they, they opened with stuff we've already seen. They didn't open with, I mean, they should have opened with Battle Royale, that, that, that new four player battle mode, which is super interesting. Yeah, or really a trailer. Exciting. Yeah, Jack, or, get the excitement. Or a trailer, or yeah. they led with things we've seen already, which so, I thought was. Uh, a misstep for that. Yeah, just to throw in there, so uh, we're referring to Shigeru uh, Omori and Junichi Masuda, who mm. then had this preamble about things we already knew in Pokemon. And yeah. so at E3 to do that, that's kind of assuming that the audience hasn't seen it when your average Pokemon fan is oh. sassing everything. Yeah. They're dying for yeah. more. And, and if, you're doing it, if you're doing it for people who don't know, you would show a trailer, something quick, not something sure. drawn out. Oh, it yeah. felt a little bit like, no offense, but it felt like a timeshare upsell where it's like, yeah. you can win a crew but first, you have to listen to these 30 minutes of yeah. us talking about things you already know you don't want, right? It's, like, also, it's, it's, it's also like a 3DS game, right? Yeah. So when you blow that out on a big screen and you're watching it uh, w with, with those perceptions in mind, uh, just the pacing of going from Zelda, it, was, it felt like watching that Godzilla movie from a few years ago, where every time Godzilla got going, they'd close the doors or cut some, some dialogue. I was yeah. like, show me Zelda! Yeah. yeah. See, that's interesting, because I didn't think the platform had anything to do with it, but more that you can't lead off a live show, live show with a new Zelda trailer yeah. that is bucking that many conventions and then show me Pokemon, which for most of the presentation is not bucking that many. Yeah. Yeah, but it, they it, did get to an important part where it did get there. But you were going to say, sorry, Kelly. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it was, to me, felt like baby's first Pokemon. Like, they were explaining very basic things. Mm -hmm. And um, they, when they finally got to Battle Royale, that's when it got interesting, um, yeah. because they have this four-player, multiplayer, um, free-for-all battle, and the, it, the winner is decided based on the number of Pokemon you eliminate and the number of Pokemon uh, left in your party, which yeah. I think is a typical tiebreaker for Pokemon. But sure. like, that's super interesting. They should have led yeah. with, here's our new battle mode. Here's yeah. a new way you're going to be able to play Pokemon, not uh, here's the starters you already saw, and here's us walking yeah. around and endlessly and Previously seeing, in and, the world of Pokemon. Seeing, yeah. Yeah. We saw uh, uh, two new Pokemon in that, tra uh, in that uh, demonstration, and um, we saw the mongoose Pokemon, it's a young goose. Um, we saw it like <laughs> six times or something. And I was like, okay, come on, let's get to, get to what's, what's next, what's yeah, next? Yeah, it felt like the entire room here at the War Room was waiting for Zelda to get back yeah. on yeah. the course. Yeah. I mean, that was the big promise to see this game for the first time in action, right? And so, like, I, I kind of feel bad about the Pokemon demo. It's like, it was the, the kind of the wrong type of de demo at the wrong point in the presentation, yeah. right? And so, yeah. I, don't hold it against this game. It looks cool. It I has agree. a lot of good stuff. Oh, yeah. It looks beautiful, right? And um, it, it's just, you know, that wasn't the place in time it's for just, a long, drawn-out demo. Weird stuff we weird knew. two songs to play back to back, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. 